Here we go again. After sailing for one week, exploring the Croatian side and saying goodbye to some friends, we continue our trip now to Montenegro where we're gonna pick up the second crew. So make sure to watch part one of the trip up here. Now back to the present. As soon as we left Croatia, we hit some heavy waves, but that's all piece of cakes for a professional like us. Now our first stop is this famous town, Kotor. I hope I said that right. So, it is said that this is one of the most beautiful and historic towns of Montenegro. This town sits along the Bay of Kotor, surrounded by towering mountains and medieval walls. So this old town is actually a UNESCO World Heritage Site and it's pretty easy to see why, I mean, with its narrow, winding streets, stone buildings, and centuries of history. One of the must-do activities here is climbing up to the Kotor Fortress. It's a bit of a hike, but the views from the top are said to be absolutely worth it. And if you love cats, well, you're most likely gonna love this town. Hello, and another one. After our two new crew members arrived, we set off the next morning to pick up the remaining two from the next town. Now, with everyone on board, we are finally ready to sail towards Greece, but we've planned one more stop along the way. and now we're at the port of entry and we're waiting or we'll see if we get accepted into your country and if not we're gonna keep sailing for one or two days down all the way to Greece fingers crossed so it's a yes <laughs> we just got the documents so we're good to enter Albania The next day, some of us headed into town to restock on food and water, while the rest relaxed on the boat. That same evening, we made the exciting decision to sail through the night, aiming to reach Greece by sunrise. It actually turned out to be one of the most unforgettable sailing experiences. Goodbye, Albania. Hello, Gris. 
Okay. We kick things off with some amazing food. First time in Greece, Valley. Second time in Greece. First time for me. <laughs> and our first stop, give us a taste of the Greek adventure I actually been <laughs> anticipating. Welcome to Greece. <laughs> <laughs> After a long day of sailing under the burning sun, we finally found the perfect spot to cool off and relax. That looks delicious. <laughs> Later that day, we explored the charming town of Gaios on Paxos Island. And while everybody was caught up watching football, well, we treated ourselves to some of Greece's finest dessert. So I want to try this one. A little cheat code. Yeah. I will try this one. I will try this one. Okay. I mean, I'm down to try anything. Yeah. We're in Greece. Yeah. So we are going to try some some of Greece's finest dessert. Hopefully, <laughs> they are the finest one. This is a specialty from this island. Mm. Mm -hmm. We need to go get more yum to the max. Wow. Oh my god. Wow. We couldn't leave Greece without some water exploration. So all of us, except for the skipper, swam into this massive cave on a nearby island. Woo! <laughs> the inside was huge, with bats flying around. It was really cool. Then we discovered this smaller cave, but it was too dark and a bit too spooky okay, to in. go any further. So this is how the Salima crew ended. <laughs> we will be in the news. Later that day, we stumbled upon a shipwreck 
I actually tried to dive in and explore, but my free diving skills weren't quite up to it. Still, it was an amazing experience. This is our last night here in Greece and we're gonna have our last dinner all together before we part ways tomorrow. And after an unforgettable dinner, we said our goodbyes and left in the morning Let's to go. catch our flight back home where we cannot wait for our next adventure. So see you in the next video and happy traveling my friends. Yeah?